All right, guys, so hear me out with this one. Well, I've always wanted a boat, right? It's summertime, it's hot, it's nice out. But yeah, I don't have a boat of my own. And then I came across this stuff called Flex Tape. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Tape, the super strong waterproof tape. Super strong, water resistant, over the top advertisement. Yeah, it's pretty much a meme. So I was thinking that maybe that could be the answer to my boat problem. Now this is not sponsored by Flex Tape, although I wish it was. If you're watching this Flex Tape people, hit me up. It's literally an idea I thought of like five minutes ago and it made me laugh. So let's go to the store and see if we can get some of this Flex Tape. I'm gonna be flexing hard with this boat. So I don't know how expensive this stuff is, so uh, this might be a very small boat. Oh, it'd probably be so much easier just to buy this, but uh, we can't do that. In the paint aisle currently, I feel like we're close, so close. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh. I'm going to need all of these. No. Nothing to see here. Mission successful, got a bunch of flex tape. Waiting for Perry. Ah, who's Perry? Now over to the Home Depot to get some uh, actual supplies to make some sort of frame for this boat. I thought no way in hell these things were gonna fit, but like, look at this, ready? Look how long this is. It's like 10 feet long, right? What? Through the window, into the front passenger seat, foot thing. Beautiful. So I just did a bunch of math trying to figure out, trying to find this arc length knowing this and that, but uh, then I realized it's summertime and one cool little trick you guys can do, um, you can draw a circle, another circle right up here and then uh, a little ghost right here and draw a little mouth here and then uh, then go play some Pac-Man and stop doing math. It's summertime, you nerds. All right, so I just spent like two minutes talking to a camera that wasn't recording, haha. <laughs> Currently, frame is made entirely of PVC piping, um, held together with some string and wire, uh, but that's just like really loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce it with, uh, you guessed it, flex tape. And then I think the easiest thing to do is just to wrap the entire thing in flex tape. I have yet to look up a design. Came up with this in Home Depot based strictly off of what they sold pre-cut. It's not really what you're supposed to do. I know in my last video, a lot of people got mad because I used vice grips when I could have used an Allen key. Like guys, if you comment anything like that on this video, like, I'm sorry, just go find, go find something better to do. Seriously, Jesus. All right, first layer of flex tape. So far I've found the stuff is literally like industrial electrical tape. So thick, at least like five C's. Does not help that these are really dull scissors. First piece on, only a shit ton more to go. All right, got the first section of the boat done. And for added waterproofing and to get rid of all the sticky parts, let's try covering that with some Flex Seal.
bunch of tape later, we finally finished wrapping the boat. If you can't tell, I am sweating right now. Um, it's like 90 degrees outside. Another reason why I couldn't really film as much because uh, cause down in the basement right now, it's actually super cold, so nice. Um, one time of year actually pays off. 90% of the time I'm just down here freezing. But the boat is outside and uh, watch watch what happens when I try and, uh, try and go outside and film the boat. Oh, here's the boat. You know, all of it's taped up glory. Still think I'm gonna spray it with a little bit more flex seal. But uh, as you can tell, getting, getting a little bit blurry. Oh, that quality picture. So yeah, that is all of the condensation collecting on the camera lens um, because of the temperature difference and my camera's cold and outside it's hot. Even if I wipe it off, we're right back here. Remember there's one last thing I have to do and that is to tape up this front area right here. Take this tiny little piece of trash bag, put it around and then flex tape that all up like that. Oh yeah, well, I got you here. Here's how I will sit in the boat. Kind of just slide on in here, just like that. Now, no, I did not use flex tape on the whole thing, um, mostly on the bottom, because that's where it counts. And where we don't have flex tape, we got flex seal. Sprayed the whole thing, it's like a liquid rubber coating. Um, so hopefully that should uh, keep this nice and watertight. Now let's go ahead and add the underwater jets, or, or EDFs, whatever you want to call them. So I got two of these thrusters from uh, Blue Robotics. Exactly how much force they put out, I'll put something on the screen if I find it. But yeah, I used them in a previous project. I strapped them from my arms. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Each one runs off of a 6S LiPo battery. So we got two of them right here in, in classic video fashion, duct taped together. We've got two ESCs right here that'll control them. And we've got a little uh, speed controller right in here. Controller propellers. And because these are already mounted onto some arm straps like this, and I'm too lazy to redo that, I say we just flex tape these directly to the side of the boat. Let's do it. All right guys, so we pretty much just finished up the boat. So let me just give you a little tour. Right there's the front, and um, then there's the back part. So I mounted the thrusters to each side, one there, one over there. Wired up both wires to this little uh, box right here that sits right in front of me. Um, this little turn switch is uh, how I make the boat go. And then we just take our battery pack that just kind of fits in like that. There we go. Just turn this knob right here. Oh yeah. That's uh, that's a nice sound. And also because it's right before testing, I'm gonna plug some stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, at jlaservideo, you would have seen that I was doing this project. Shirt link in the description as well, if you wanna help support this channel. Allow me to do other cool builds like this. Oh yeah, and subscribe of course too. Um, except it doesn't really do anything these days, but still do it anyway. Cause I think I'm addicted to numbers and like stats and stuff and uh, we wanna see those go up. Anyways, let's test this out. Let's see if it floats first. If this works, we should race them. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Real nervous. nervous. Watch it just sink like <laughs> right away. <laughs> Either way, if this sinks, it'll be funny. <laughs> you just gotta stay underwater with the snorkel. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's made to go underwater. It's made to like, go underwater. Just go under. That's, it's a submarine, <laughs> is what we made, yeah. I got water wings too. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> we're floating though, and it's not sinking. So I think we're good. Throw some stabilizers on. Yeah, we come prepared. 50-50 <laughs> shot that hole. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, <laughs> that's pretty. This cool, is so it? like hacked together. <laughs> you need. That's all you need. It's just a roll of flex tape. <clears throat> if I was stuck on a desert island, wait, desert's a horrible example. <laughs> How would a desert island work if there's like water all around it? A deserted island. That's what everyone says. Like desert for like island, like cake and stuff. <laughs> Ooh, we got power. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Come prepared. Water wings, dude. Too many, too <laughs> many gangs, fit, dude. <laughs> it does. Oh no. What's that? No, no. Is that the battery? Yep. <laughs> That's a lot of money down the drain. Good thing I brought an extra. He's in. Even if this works a little bit, I'll be happy. <laughs> 
All right, let's do it. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reverse. reverse! Oh, no, dude, you're gonna get stuck in the middle. Do it again! That's cool! It works! <laughs> I gotta get out, dude. There's a lot of water coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to turn the camera? <laughs> no, it's funny. Dude, that's pretty sick. That's dope, so dude. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and, now that I'm comfortable with this, I'm gonna try and go out. You try to be safe and the snorkel just, <laughs> just fails you. Maybe you bought the right size. What? 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 Talking about size? Yeah. Shit on my snorkel size, all right? I hope you know, <laughs> this is an average size snorkel. <laughs> this is not a small snorkel. <laughs> no, this is pretty small. What? This boat. Don't comment on the boat size. It's plenty big. I ran out of flex tape, okay? <laughs> How much did you spend in flex tape? A lot of money on this <laughs> stupid stuff. <laughs> Too much money. <laughs> Doesn't even work. <laughs> no, it actually works. I should have used more. Is it rolling? Yeah. Make sure it's rolling. Oh, we are one minute in. You've learned all I can teach you. I'm about to take my cell phone into the water. We'll pick that up in a minute. I don't want a litter. Protect the planet, kids. Protect the planet. This is the perfect time to check Instagram. <laughs> Full speed ahead. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh no, dude. <laughs> you can't steer this thing, dude. <laughs> Fun day, fun day. All right guys, I'm gonna keep this outro short because this video is probably pretty long at the moment and I don't wanna waste your time, but I just have to say that was probably one of the most fun times I've ever had filming a video. Made a boat out of flex tape, no plan at all, threw some electric engines on it, rode it around, had a great time. 10 out of 10 video right there. The boat only leaked a little bit, um, which honestly a boat made out of tape, like that's not bad. Didn't sink, flex tape boat, call that a win. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.